Hmm. I wonder what adventures we can get into now. Hmm. Ah! What happened? <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs>Hey you guys, Zip here, and welcome to probably one of the coolest mods I've ever seen, and it just came out. This is SciCraft by Synapse or RSmart and the WoW Elite. In this, in this sweet, I made this. I want you to know that. Uh, but SciCraft is going to be a mod that is currently being developed by these two fine gentlemen. And if you want to check them out, they will be in the chat my, uh, description of this video. And this is going to be a World of Warcraft WoW slash Steampunk mod uh, coming from Minecraft. And it literally just came out a couple days ago. And it's going to have some exciting stuff. I know you guys are going to love it. I'm actually going to be working directly with the mod makers to get you updates of SciCraft before they are officially released. So that if there's any other information about SciCraft you need, you'll be able to find it here first. Before we get into that though, I wanted to let you know that this texture pack is not part of SciCraft. This is Doku Craft. But before we get into this mod, I really hope that you can please leave a like on this video. I'm shooting high for this because once you see the mod, I know you're going to love it. So please, if we can get a thousand likes on this video, I would be so impressed. But let's get into it finally, right? Okay, so the first thing I want to show you, and this is the main reason you probably clicked, is this armor. This is the Wrathful Gladiators armor set, and it even comes with cool little descriptions that you'll be able to pause to read some of these. So yeah, holding shift over the items. This is just one thing of SciCraft that is added with this mod. Now, if you want to see the crafting recipes in vanilla textures, I will be including overlays of those right here so you'll be able to see what you're actually trying to build. Although these textures here specifically are part of the mod, so that's how they're going to look regardless. But these, these <laughs> this is the Raffle Gladiator's armor set, and it is some of the most impressive armor I've ever seen on Minecraft. I actually have it loaded right here. Excuse my phone. <laughs> so check this out. This is the armor. It is fully high resolution, high texture. It doesn't. It's not even square or anything. It's some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen in Minecraft. This is all custom made. Even on the back there, you can kind of see right in the the helm, you got some spikes going on right there. Super impressive stuff. I was blown away when I saw this. Now, uh, obviously, these are made with ghost iron gems, but we'll get to those in just a little bit. In addition to the Wrathful Gladiator's armor, there has been a royal scepter of Tyrannus that was added, as well as gnomish rocket boots. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with this, and of course, I've got the overlays, that's another star surrounded by more ghost iron gems. Now check out the model on this baby, I actually had it right here. This is the Royal Scepter of Teneris, and not only is it stronger than a diamond sword, but it is exceptionally fast at mining. I'm going to grab a diamond pickaxe uh, for example real quick here, to give you an example. So this is a diamond pickaxe mining, actually I'm in creative mode, oops. <laughs> so this is a diamond pickaxe mining, already fast, now if you notice, the uh, scepter actually mines just a little bit faster. So it's going to save you some time, and it's got quite a few uses. So if you can manage to kill a wither boss and get yourself some ghost iron gems, then this is definitely a worthwhile craft. But not only that, but again, look at the texture on it. It is so cool looking. You can block with it and everything, the whole nine yards. So I think that's really impressive. Now the gnomish rocket boots are something else as well. And this is with diamond, gold ingots, ghost iron gems, and rose red dye. It has to be rose red dye. Now upon wearing these, which I'm going to do oops, right in there, I'm going to do really quick, is you're going to get, well, you don't need to be wearing them to get this option, but you're going to have a new option in your controls, which is going to toggle rocket boots. So for now, I'm just going to put it, keep it on R, but basically what happens is you'll be wearing the rocket boots, and if you press R, you'll actually get a little jump, and you'll be able to jump ahead like that. And it has infinite uses, and not only will you not take fall damage if you land on the same ground level as what you jumped off of, but it actually will absorb damage when you fall that you would, you know, you'd normally take more damage than, uh, than these boots let you take. So uh, these are also good for a little bit of feather falling effect. It is an, an, an invisible boost, 
but nonetheless, it's really cool. And uh, as the mod makers themselves said, this would eventually be really cool for something like parkour. So I'm excited for what uh, what this mod will bring if it continues to get upload updated as the mod makers said it would. So those are the weapons and accessories that are currently being added. And remember guys, this is not the full or complete version. This is going to be updated quite frequently, and a lot of it's going to depend on your feedback. So anyways, here's the ores that uh, come with it, and of course the ghost iron gems you get from ghost iron ores. Now right over here we've got each ore, and as you can see they also have high textures, or high resolution textures. And there are two different variations of this ore. One is smaller, and upon breaking it you'll get one gem and this one you will get three gems or maybe it varies every so often you'll get anywhere from one to three gems from both of those but the larger one will give you more now these are going to be found in caves just various caves throughout minecraft and one really cool thing about them and i forgot to grab an ore to give you an example but i've got some right there so it's fine is they actually give off light so you'll be able to find them a little bit easier when you're searching around in minecraft uh oh I hear bad guys. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back to my lovely mod review base because this is where I call home. But yes, you'll be able to find those uh, in caves and they will grant you access to not only the new armor but tons of weapons and accessories that come with the Psycraft mod. Now as for transportation, we're going to skip that for now because that's going to be one of my best for last kind of things if you will. Now new blocks have been added are white storm wind bricks and these are used by combining nether quartz and plain stone and uh, over here you can see they're kind of glitched out I'll, I'll include a picture of what they're supposed to look like remember this is a mod that just came out so not everything's gonna be perfect yet but it is being updated frequently almost every couple days so just depending on your feedback it will continue to be updated but yeah just a cool little decoration block it looks pretty nice in my opinion it's almost like um, this stone in vanilla anyways uh, but wider and it looks nice so I was a big fan of that oh and by the way I forgot to mention the ghost iron ores you can actually make them by combining an iron ingot with an ender pearl. This way you can have the gems in one of your old worlds without having to reload new chunks. It's kind of expensive, but for the armor you can get from it, I'd say it's pretty worth it. Now finally that this mod has so far is a cool little item set that the uh, mod makers have so generously given to another Minecraft YouTuber and it basically is going to provide, it's, it's just, it's a cool little outfit that they gave to someone that was going to do a review on their mod so maybe I'll get one too. If you guys are watching this please make me some armor. But it's basically just a set of armor that they added for another YouTuber and that, uh, that was going to do a mod review on this so who knows you know if you leave a good suggestion for them to add to the mod you may see something for you um, in the mod as well. Uh, the mod makers have been very good about updating the mod with suggestions and fixes and who knows you might see something you want in there. Now finally I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back this cool armor. Now finally, we're gonna go over to transportation, and you're gonna see a gyrocopter. Unfortunately, the texture's not working too well right there, but it is fixed in the uh, latest version that is being pushed out currently. Now for this, you'll need oak wood planks, a block of gold, one iron ingot, a redstone comparator, and any color wool. And then you put a compass right in the middle, and you'll get your gyrocopter. Now gyrocopters run on coal, you will need coal in order to fly it, but we're going to make our way over to the helipad right over here. I knew it was going to be too good to be true to get this mod done in one take. I had to forget this one little thing. So uh, before I show you the actual flying of the gyrocopter, I thought I'd let you know a really cool feature that was also just added in this update, and it is that you can add a clock to your gyrocopter by right clicking right here, and it will actually put it right on the inside of the gyrocopter, which I can't seem to... There we go. So you can see the clock was added right there. So that was a cool little thing that I thought was pretty awesome. Anyways, we're going to jump right into the gyrocopter. And again, with controls, you'll be able to find the controls for going up and down in the gyrocopter in your control settings. But for right now, the up and down is T and G. And you'll be able to fly this around. And upon pressing F5, you'll see that the propellers spin and everything. And it's just a cool way of giving you some extra transportation abilities for your Minecraft world. And I thought it was really impressive. Now, the most awesome part about it is you need to kind of be a little bit careful with flying the sucker around. Because as, you'll, as you can see in just a moment here, I'm going to fly it into a wall. And it does blow up. 
and not only does it blow up, but it will also break the blocks around the area it went into. Now, for now, upon breaking the gyrocopter on blocks, you will get it back, but that may change in the future. The mod maker has stated he was just being a little generous for the time being, because this is a new mod. But, uh, gosh, I said a lot, didn't I? That's about it for SciCraft so far. Um, again, it is a mod that is a work in progress, and the mod makers have actually had, are they're holding a little contest. So if you want to possibly see one of your suggestions added into SciCraft, it would be really sweet if you could leave a like on this video, but then make sure you check out um, either both of their channels or leave a comment on this video saying what you think would be cool to be added into SciCraft. Now remember, this is a steampunk and World of Warcraft blended together mod, so it would be a better idea to stay within that theme for your suggestion to be taken seriously. But don't be afraid to suggest something that isn't related to either of those, because it may be implemented. So once again, guys, that was the SciCraft mod. I really hope you enjoyed the mod, and please tell me, if you want to see more of this mod from me as it, get up, as it gets updated, I would have no problem providing you with updates, maybe every week, every couple weeks, about what's changed in SciCraft, if you want to keep up to date. Because this mod, I have a feeling, is going to be huge. And with your feedback, it's going to get huge even faster, because that's what they're really looking for. They're only going to update this mod if that's what you guys want to see. So please leave your feedback, and please, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video. Again, I'd like to see a thousand likes on this video. I know you guys can do it. This is some exciting stuff, and I want not only for you, but for me and the mods, mod makers themselves to be able to see this turn into one of the coolest mods Minecraft has to offer. So yeah, guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.